my dear students of class 12 uh, last class i told you uh, most probably you have remembered last class uh, i discussed with which topics last last class topics was schools like that uh, and i told you also that in the next class i take principle of superposition see whenever a topic comes uh, there must be some reasons that why this topic comes see in coulomb's law you got always you got force between two charges q1 q2 or q3 q4 or q5 q6 like this you got force of attraction and repulsion between only two charges you may have a question in your mind that if in coulomb's law you are showing only force between only two charges if more number of charges are there then what will happen how we can calculate the total force suppose in a field there are n number of charges q1 q2 q3 q4 like dot dot qn if qn number of charges are there and if each charge is applying force to a particular charge then how to find the total force of attraction or repulsion so to calculate the total force of attraction or repulsion for n number of charges the concept principle of superposition comes so today our topic is principle of superposition so see with the help of principle of superposition we can find we can find force between a uh, force of attraction or repulsion between n number of charges okay now see here suppose i am saying that uh, q1 is a charge q1 is a charge placed here and here is a q2 here is q3 q4 q5 i have got a given number of charges given number of charges all charges are applying force on q1 there is no it is not like this that q1 is not applying force on q2 q3 or certainly but suppose if we consider like this that q2 is applying force on q1 q3 is applying force on q1 q4 is applying force on q1 dot dot q is applying force on q1 then what is the total force exerted on charge q1 so that you can find in the help of principle of superposition now see suppose uh, this a 1 2 see this is plus this is also plus so there will be attraction repulsion certainly the repulsion yeah certainly it is a repulsion because similar types of charge repel each other so q2 will repel q1 with a force f12 f12 means force applied on charge q1 due to q2 so it is f12 f12 suppose q3 is applying a force on charge q1 it is q13 uh, it is q13 q3 is applying a force on q1 so it will be a uh, um, force applied on one due to p so it will be f13 similarly qn is applying a force on q1 it force applied on one due to n so it will be f1 n f1 n like this some in between some other charges are also there these all charges are applying force on q1 so with the help of principle superposition we will get the total a uh, total force exerted q1 okay similarly see we can find uh, what is if, if we consider like this that all charges are applying force on q2 that also you can find all charges are applying force on q3 that also you can find all charges are applying force on qn that also you can find with the help of principle of superposition so see what is the uh, principle of superposition that talk about? the principles that i am saying this uh, Uh, definitions and others you can get it in your book or in other notebooks also you can find. But main thing is conceptions. My motto, my aim is to give you conceptions for particular topics. So I am giving you conception only. The notes and others you can get from um, from book also or from from guidebooks you can find. This is not a matter. But see, so what they are saying? It states what is principle of superposition. It states that when a number of charges are interacting. the total force on a given charge 
is better sum of the forces exerted on it by all other charges. So it is the vector sum. Vector sum. Already I told you force is a vector point because it is both magnitude and direction. And this this gives the direction. This gives the direction. This gives the direction. So first what happened? Uh, suppose I, uh, I I explained it. Q three is a blank force on Q one. Q three is a blank force on Q one. Q three is a blank force on Q one. And this force in which direction they are acting? Because it's all a repulsive force. It's all a what? Repulsive force. Now suppose if I say this uh, net force, suppose a net force applied on Q Q one is suppose F one. Suppose what? F one. So F one means what? The total force F one means this plus this plus this all forces it is F one. So I can write F one equal to one and right. I can write F one two. That means it is the force applied on Q one due to Q two plus F one three. What is this force applied on one due to Q three due to Q three plus you can say dot dot plus what F Force applied on one due to Q one, so it will be one and and one and. Okay. Now see, uh, if one equal what I can say, if one equal what I can say, see, I can write what is F one two? I can write one by four by from Coulomb's law. From Coulomb's law, in vector form already working. One by four by epsilon naught into F one two means what? Force applied Q one Q two divided by suppose the distance is R one. Suppose this suppose it is distance you can say suppose I write it R one R two R three like this. Suppose we can say it is R one two. This you can write R one three. This you can write R one n. What I can write this is R one and like this you can write. Now I can write one by four by epsilon naught into Q one Q two divided by distance square. That means R one two whole square. I can write R one two whole square. R one two whole square. I can write. Okay. Now see if you write here R one two. If you write R one two, that means uh, F one two means you need to find the what? What did I do? I told you Coulomb's law vector for what I wrote. If here if you write one two, then in unit vector you write two one. What to write? It will be two one ten. Okay. Plus. See this one. What I write? One by four by epsilon naught into this and this. What do that? Q1 Q3 divided by R1 whole square. This is the distance. R1 three whole square into what is the unit vector? Here, if you write F1 three, then it will be P1. It will be R unit vector will be three one plus. What I can write? Plus means there are so many for for Q3. Then for Q4, then for Q5, then for Q6, like that, that for Q1. For Q1. Now, what I can write? One by four by epsilon naught Q1 Qn Q1 Qn divided by R1 n whole square into unit vector. What I can write? R if it is one uh, n then it will be n one then it will be one n one. So see here what we are making. This is the force between Q two and Q one. This is the force between Q three and Q one. This is the force between Q n and Q one. Okay, in between so many other also that is already plotted, not done. Okay, now. What I can write, I can add also. Out of this, all these terms, which which you can take common, I can write one by four by epsilon naught, one by four by epsilon naught, one by four by epsilon naught, everywhere. So this term you can take common. So what I can write, I can write f bar 
equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into what I can write? I can write Q1 Q2 divided by R what I can write 1 to whole square R 1 to whole square plus into what I can write R 2 1 R 2 1 plus more than no space it is I am writing in other way plus uh, but I do hope that you are understanding so that's what I can write I can write Q1 Q3 divided by R one whole square R into unit vector R T1 in this one thing that will be T1 okay plus C I can write dot dot then plus plus what you got 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q1 Qn divided by R1 and whole square into unit vector what you get N1. Okay, so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught I have taken off. So that means this is the net force applied on the charge you are due to all other charges. Due to all other, due to all other charges, we can write. See, this I can write it in form of summation or such we can write. But this is the force, this is this, this is what force? This F1 is the force applied on charge Q1 due to all other charges. Same way we can calculate what is the net force applied on charge Q2 due to charge Q1, Q3, dot dot Q4, Q5, Q6, dot Q1. Okay. We can find uh, what the net force applied in charge Q3 due to all other charges. It is just like this. Suppose you have 20 francs and you have decided that today everyone will go to France once, uh, France number one house. Everyone will go. So what will happen? In France number one house, you everyone will go. Suppose next day you have decided that today we will go to France number two. So, two will be in his own house and other all friends will go to his house. Like next day you decide to friends number five. So, friends one, friends two, friends three, friends four, friends six, up to friends twenty. Everyone will go to friends five house and friends five will be in his own house. Same way here, you see. We can find the total force applied by all other charges on charge Q1. So I have shown you only one, but if you want to calculate for all other charges also, nicely you can calculate without any problem, but you have to follow the principle of superposition. So what advantage we are getting from principle of superposition, you see, if with the help of Coulomb's law, we can get a force between two charges, Q1, Q2, but if there are n number of charges in an electric field, then how to find the total force due to all other charges that can be found with the help of Coulomb's uh, principle of superposition. Principle of superpositions. So see, uh, sometimes they give two marks for this principle of superpositions. Um, I hope you understood that how to how to get this uh, total force due to all other charges. And, uh, to do it, but especially in mobile class, see, I cannot take. I cannot take class for a long time because if I take half an hour class, it may, it may be very difficult for me to send uh, uh, to you. That is why the small topics today I have taken. Every day I will take like this on the small, small topics and I will try my best to uh, make you understand. And uh, you also, if you have any problem, then the comment sections uh, here also uh, you can comment if you do not understand anything. So I will try my best to clarify your doubts. And uh, since due to COVID-19, COVID most of the colleges are closed, students are not getting any scope for regular classes in such situations. Yeah. Well, it is our little practice. Little practice, at, at least uh, uh, we are trying our best to give you something. Um, if, if, if you subscribe to other students also, so they may also get benefit. So we wish that every, most of the, more and more students should get benefit from our classes. So you will subscribe to more and more students uh, and uh, uh, do it 
And remember, whatever I am doing in the blackboard, that you don't see the note, this is not enough. Writing practice is the best practice. Even today, through those superpositions, if you understand, then write it two to three times in your notebook. One time writing is equal to ten times reading. That is why you need it, you write it again and again. It should be the real practice. Okay? Okay, wish you all the best. Good night.